Sports bettors, how are we doing? We are in the lab a little late tonight. Uh, if you're in the sports betting, do me a favor, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Padres and Dodgers is your free play of the day. Two for Tuesday today. And I'm coming at you guys. I'm in the lab late tonight. Late. I'm going extra late because we need to find some angles here. Uh, I was on the Giants yesterday, obviously, for the free play. If you guys are new to sports betting, do me a favor and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to keep this video short, short to it. I got hate mail today, email for the first time in probably two months, maybe a little bit, even a bit more than that. Uh, 30 and 15 top tier run. It's great. Uh, literally last 45 best bets of the day. We've won 30 of them. So two for Tuesday is going to smack, uh, guaranteeing it's going to smack. Not only do I know it's going to smack, but I haven't lost this many top tier plays in a row. Now it hasn't been a lot. However, we just been on it. Major League Baseball dump, literally. Uh, we had the Boston Red Sox, big top play of the day. Um, and, you know, they put up a ton of runs. They have a ton of hits, but they have literally put in anybody that can't pitch. 70 ERAs, 11 ERAs, 39 ERAs. I mean, they're checked out. They, they really, really are checked out this year, and it starts to show. And I apologize. I really do. Um... NFL, we dropped that. We were on the Giants. It's just been a little, little, little tough patch here from Sunday going into Monday, and I completely agree. Uh, and I acknowledge it. Uh, sometimes the hate mail, I, I just read it and I, I get over it. Um, but you guys have to understand, I'm losing my money on my wagers. Uh, I don't like losing them. I don't like watching the Boston Red Sox walk four guys in a row and keep the same pitcher in. You know, <clears throat> it's very, very tough. I wish I could coach everything, make the players play. Um, but that's how I'm opening the video because uh, I've been on a little, little, little dumper. Uh, we opened up Friday very well. Saturday wasn't bad. I think we had a top tier winner on Saturday. Sunday, we dropped one, uh, uh, the red alert. And then also Monday, we drop a big play. I get it. I really, really do. But 30 and 15 top tier run. We have one play for you guys on Tuesday. It is our top tier play of the day. I do address my losses like I do my wins. But again, I was on the Red Sox. Uh, um, it, was, it was bad to watch. I mean, they put up a ton of runs. The game's actually still going on. Uh, there's home runs every single inning. Uh, but, it, but it's a wild, wild fiasco. Uh, YouTube premiums wasn't bad. We went 2-1 and one on the YouTube premium, all Major League Baseball. And uh, I have nothing to say about the Giants game. Um, I think that their wins have are now nullified to bogus wins their offense is bad offensive line is bad Shepard cost a massive potential scoring play opportunity by running out on the field he also dropped a pass almost fumbled a pass you know a lot of crazy stuff in that game if you're on the Cowboys congratulations I was on the Giants there but I think 18 and 11 to start NFL not the best in the world not the worst uh and that's it. That, that's kind of uh, the Monday, the early week. I don't like the good vibes on that, you know? So we go into two for Tuesday, positive vibe. Let's try to break 50 thumbs up. Let's try to break 50 thumbs up. I know you guys are rocking with me. I know I have a lot of people on my package. Um, I'm heading into the weekend here, looking to make a fourth. I, I think I made a $3,090 wager last week in NFL, which cashed. It was my game of the month. Uh, it was on the Eagles, minus um, minus the points against the Vikings. Uh, but I'm looking to make a $4,000 wager, potential $5,000 wager this weekend. Uh, and it is going to be an NFL. And I, I, I want to get it released. I, I do want to get it released. Um, anybody that was on this past weekend will get it. Anybody that was on Monday will get it. Um, but I, I, there's a potential I'm going to release this to you guys tomorrow. Now... Uh, again, I don't like losing, so I keep, I keep the hate emails coming. Obviously, I'm not going to pay mine to them when I know I just lost a little bit of bread, but um, it's just not common. We've, we've been we've been too fire. We've been too freaking fire as of late. Major League Baseball needs a revive. We were on a 33 and thir or sorry, 33 and 11 run, I believe, and now I think it is 38 and 24. So we were on a massive, massive win streak, and then we definitely kind of went back giving some of back some of that winnings but like I said you'll hear the good for me and you'll hear the bad for me every single day but um two for Tuesday again 30 and uh 15 the last 45 best bets of the day don't want to miss out on two for Tuesday what it is it's any two handicappers top play of the day pin in the comment section you will see that at the top 
jump on board, baby. I'm, I'm banging this one. I am banging this one. Free play of the day, I'm taking the Padres on the money line against the Dodgers. Obviously, everyone's going to like the Dodgers. I just love the way Snell's been playing. Snellzilla, I've seen him a few times down in uh, uh, Tampa Bay when he was down there. I really like the way this uh, uh, team's playing. Plus, I, I, I think that the Padres get pumped up when they play against the Dodgers here. I think Anderson is taking a hill for the Dodgers. I think the Padres need it more than the Dodgers. Um, especially the way things have been going. I think both teams have been on a phenomenal run as of late. But I think getting plus money with a team that has kind of just been playing kind of mediocre offense right now. We have a super low total. Uh, I like the Padres. I really do. I like the Padres with uh, a little bit of plus money, plus 105, depending on where you're looking, where you're getting. Looks like I'm seeing about 85% of the bets on the Dodgers. So if you kind of wait a little bit longer, I think we'll get better value. I'm taking a better pitcher. I'm taking Snellzilla over Anderson. Snell had a tough start to the year. He really did. A couple course fields, banged up pitches. But I like them at home here. I think they come out. I think they look to put a statement to the Dodgers heading in towards the postseason saying, hey, we're coming. We're coming. So I'm taking the Padres on the money line. That's going to be a free play today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've not jumped on board, I don't know why I thought I just heard somebody. But if you've not jumped on board, definitely get on board for Two for Tuesday. If you're on the weekend, I apologize. Some of these big unit plays did not come through for us. But we'll look to bounce back for you guys on Tuesday. Two for Tuesday. Check out Justin, Benny, Jack, Patrick. We're going to bring this ship around. Uh, and then be on the lookout. I'm going to do a week four opening line report for you guys tomorrow. The contest is simple. It's always pinned in the video. Today, it is two Major League Baseball games, two points each. I'll have everything updated here shortly. And I will still be in the lab for you guys tonight. Good luck. God bless. Grand on.